Where and everywhere, bringing the world into your home. Journey to Adventure, television's longest-running travel show, with your host and guide, Gunther Less. It is believed that the Florentine explorer Verrazano was the first to sail into what is today New York Harbor. But he was not impressed and left. Not until 1609 did Henry Hudson, an Englishman working for the Dutch, sail into New York and up the river. In 1626, the Dutchman Peter Minuet bought Manhattan Island from the Indians for $24. And so on and so on until today when New York has become what I believe it to be the capital of the world. So stay with us as Journey to Adventure gives you a taste of the Big Apple, New York City. The wonders of New York City exceed all expectations. The fantastic skyline, marvelous restaurants, hotels, theaters, museums, sightseeing attractions, cultural centers, shops, and architecture. And now, let's meet the chairman of the New York Convention and Visitors Bureau, and his honor the mayor, and many of the great stars in the world. I'm so tired of getting nowhere Seeing my prayers gone unanswered I guess the Lord must be in New York City You know, I can't conceive of a more incredible place than New York City And I think the 8 million people who live here feel pretty much the same way too. Whether you live here or just come for a visit, New York remains a very special place. And just in case you may have forgotten how special she really is, I'd like to invite you out onto town for a taste of the one and the only, the Big Apple. New York has been one of the greatest experiences a person could ever have. It has given me a chance to realize how much this city really does have to offer. New York City is the Big Apple, and that means Manhattan, Queens, the Bronx, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. It also means a lot of good people working together to make this city great. We have a lot of reasons to be proud of our town, and you've got a lot of reasons to come and be a part of it all whether it's for a day, a week, or a lifetime. New York, New York, a hell of a town. The Bronx is up and the battery's down. The people ride in a hole in the ground. New York, New York, it's a hell of a town. Pineapples, oranges, and grapefruit are great, but ha -ha, there is nothing like the Big Apple. <laughs> Ooh. Here you are. Thank you. It's a matter of taste, and I guess a lot of people find New York City very tasty because 17 million visitors come right here to New York every year. And the people who live here, that's what I love about this exciting, wonderful city. Oh, they come from all over the world, and they live in all different kinds of neighborhoods. Fifty national communities. It's sort of like a lot of small countries living right next door to one another. It's a thrilling, exciting sight. Excuse me. Mm. East, side, and west, side, all around the town. The tots. Sang ring of rosy London Bridge falling down. Boys and girls together, me and Mamie O'Rourke. Trip the light, fantastic.
Well, now, if someone were to ask me what the Big Apple specializes in, I'd just have to say shopping. Of course diamonds are a girl's best friend. But if you had to shop for something else, I suppose you could. In fact, if you can't buy it in New York City, it probably just doesn't exist. Why, everything is at your doorstep. You can browse in the most expensive shops in the world. poke around and find incredible little bargains. Or at least that's what they tell me. <laughs> or you can go completely wild with punk and funk and retro. Whatever that is. You know, this town's incredible. It has over a hundred skyscrapers. You can find just about anything you're looking for, like an unbelievable choice of hotels with over a hundred thousand rooms. comes for fun and games. I mean, some really heavy-duty decisions are made here. Like the time we had two major political conventions in a row at Madison Square Garden. And a lot more meetings and conventions will be held at the New York Convention Center, the number one convention facility in the world, with over a million square feet. Now, all you have to do is find a good reason to have a meeting. All right? part of it all. I never have to leave New York City to find a quiet little rendezvous for moi and Kermie to escape to. You know, it would be an understatement to say New York City is a sporting town. It has an unbelievable ability to put real excitement into any sport. Maybe that's because there are more pro teams in the Big Apple than anywhere else.
York City is one big sports marathon. But it's not all just watching the pros, it's participating too. So hey, come on, have a great time in the Big Apple. could you meet Cheetah Rivera, Carol Channing, Alan King, Miss Piggy and Walt Frazier. And you will meet more celebrities in just a moment. Please stay with us. We will be right back. I'm Gunther Letz, host of Journey to Adventure. When people ask me why I stay at Sheridan Hotels, I tell them it's because Sheridan listens to what people want. They built their hotels in all the right places. They staffed them with the right kind of people. Caring men and women who know that quality service begins with a smile. That's how they built a network of 500 Sheraton hotels in 63 countries. And every one of them is waiting for you. Come to Sheraton. Because Sheraton asked where in the world you wanted to go. And listen when you told them. The New Yorker. It's been called the best magazine in the world. Probably the best magazine that ever was. See if you agree. Call this number and get 52 weekly issues of The New Yorker for just $25.95. That's $65 off the cover price. Week after week, the quality of The New Yorker speaks for itself. So call 1-800-228-2787 for 52 weekly issues of the best magazine in the world. Yes, The New Yorker. Every Monday night at 8, A&E journeys to distant corridors of civilization to discover the sacrifice and the splendor of simpler lives. Journeys chronicles ancient cultures and explores mysterious lands from the world's mighty rivers to the sacred shores of spiritual places. There are moments to be treasured week after week on A&E's journeys where differences dissolve with a single glance. Monday nights at 8. Witness the final events of Apollo 11's astonishing adventure as they happened 20 years ago. Premiering July 24th. Although not the largest city in the world, New York has more of everything than any other place. Beverly Sills, Brooke Shields, Tony Randall, Ann Miller, and Liza Minnelli will tell you all about it. Of course, many people, myself included, feel New York City is the center of America's cultural life, and with good reason. We have an incredibly rich and diverse heritage of classical music, dance, and opera. For 400 art galleries in this city, it's no wonder we're able to draw upon the talents of fine artists the world over. As for museums, well, I seriously doubt there's a more impressive selection anywhere on Earth. Creative 
expression is one of the most valued assets New York City has to offer. It is also one of the reasons the Big Apple remains truly unforgettable, an experience we can all fortunately relive again and again. There are a lot of fantastic places to go and things to see in New York City, and about a hundred ways to get around to take them all in. Of course, the Big Apple's a walking town, but it also has the most extensive mass transit system. You don't need your car. Just leave it at home. Everybody who visits the Big Apple goes home complaining about eating too much. Well, that's to be expected. We've got over 25,000 restaurants in this town. New York City's the only place I know of where you can eat your way around the world and never leave the city limits. Skoll. the Big Apple to see a show, you're coming to the right place. This whole town's a show. Just think about it. You have such an incredible choice. Over 350 theaters. On Broadway, Off Broadway, and Off Off Broadway. And what about nightlife in the Big Apple? Well, there are hundreds of fantastic places to choose from. Oh, it's all so exciting. It makes you want to go out and kick up your heels. <laughs> Wow, what a city. You know something? I think there's not one place in the whole world like New York. Every time I come here to work or even to visit, I know what it is that makes me want to get back here right away. It's electrifying. It's majestic. It's constantly fascinating. It's very romantic. And of course, it's elegant. Anything you're looking for, you can find right here. It's the biggest, it's the best, it's the most of everything. I guess that's what makes it New York. It's the one place that's always lived up to all of my dreams. And I bet you it'll live up to your dreams, too. 
So come on, have a taste of the Big Apple. The welcome mat is always out in New York, New York. It's terrific. New York is a blend of all cities. It's big time. That's why it's called the Big Apple. We will be right back. <laughs>